The world was screwed. 20 years ago, the Earth got slammed by an asteroid. Yuja was on the wrong side of the planet and got hit. Hard. Refugees swarmed the Erujian Republic, the biggest country on the continent, plunging it into chaos. They were desperate and started a war, one they had no hope of winning. That's the war my dad fought and died in. The biggest nations from two continents went head to head, and the so-called righteous Oceans struck the deal that ended it. They fancied themselves the only nation that could bring peace and stability to the world. They even tried saving the Yuzhans, still suffering from the disaster. That's how a space elevator, stretching way up into the sky, ended up being built in Yuzha, paid for by the Oceans. President Harling said he did it out of compassion for his fellow humans. But to the folks in Erujia, it looked like Osea was moving in to take over. Erujia went from being a republic, back to being a kingdom. When they started this new war, they managed to get the drop on everyone. The second the declaration hit the news, Erujian forces took control of the space elevator without spilling a single drop of blood. President Harling was touring the elevator when it happened and disappeared. Then, while that was going on, the Erujian ships that were docked all around Osea released a swarm of drone fighters they had hidden on board in containers. No one thought they were capable of doing what they did that day. With pinpoint accuracy, they managed to take out everything that was military, and not a single civilian was hurt in the process. Osea pissed lots of people off with their huge military presence around the world. Erujia didn't have the same reach, but they could hit their targets faster and cleaner. And when all this was going down, I just so happened to be in my flying drag racer. In case you were wondering, yeah, I survived. I crashed in a bombed out Ocean Air Force Base, then got arrested for breaking wartime aviation laws or some crap. The world went from being at peace to being at war, all in the blink of an eye. I was tried, found guilty, and stuffed into a cargo ship. For company, I had some court-martialed soldiers. And remember those mothballed planes I told you about before? They were loaded on the ship, too. We headed off down south for several days, and then swung east. That's how I got here. I was thousands of kilometers from Arusia, on the opposite side of the Yuzian continent. For a port, it was dull as hell. It had three rusty patrol boats. And the base? The fences were topped with razor wire, the tower had a searchlight and machine guns, and a truck with a gun turret was parked in front of the gate. Its gun was aimed at the yard. This was a prison. This place looked like a full-on base, but half the tanker trucks were just big balloons, and the runways weren't even paved, just painted on the dirt. The whole place was just one big fat lie. The only reason I was here is because they knew I'd restored a supersonic plane. They wanted me to make something out of the mothballed planes they brought that they could park on the fake runway. Can you believe that shit? So I tried to escape. <laughs> they found out and set the dogs on me. 